It is amazing what success it has become for the electric powertrain in cars. EVs are everywhere and the time when people turn their head to look at a Tesla has passed long time ago. But is this success starting to become a problem for this technical innovation? Fast charging is essential for an electric car when it needs to travel on longer distance. This supercharger is not only paid by Tesla. Tesla is actually here getting some kind of funding from the European Union since there is a European Union sign here. Yes, the fast charging network has rapidly been built out during the last years and with help of the government now, as you can see, it becomes even more of them. And this is also the reason why this uh, supercharger is open for other car brands. You can easily find out where to charge your non-Tesla on a supercharger in the Tesla app on the menu page. And the superchargers are prepared to accept card payments in the future. This small display that will be activated will give you instructions of how to proceed with payments. Until then you have to add your bank card into the app so Tesla can charge for the electricity charged into the car. After the short charging stop it's on the road again and uh, eventually we'll reach our destination. Now you can see electric cars everywhere and it is a natural element in the daily road environment. In general no one pays attention or even don't know if the car is electric, uh, petrol or diesel. Or maybe they do because diesel is so noisy and smelly. Anyway, it's great that we have took this huge step against electrification of transport. But is this success starting to become a problem for this technical innovation? Having a well built out network of fast chargers is really important for the EV. And the fast charging network has rapidly been built out during uh, the past years. But is it enough? Many Tesla superchargers is almost empty most of the time. But when it comes to weekends, holidays and times when everyone wants to go on longer trips, then the fast chargers are full, is utilized to maximum and people have to wait to get their cars charged. Is this the Achilles heel for the electric cars? How much can a fast charging network be built out to meet the peak capacity so people do not need to wait for charging. Now people that hesitate to go electric that still wants to drive their diesel or petrol car have another excuse to not go electric. Because they don't want to wait in line for charging their car when they are going on ski holiday once per year. Just as we are about to release this episode, we got the news that Tesla is stopping this rapid expansion of their Tesla supercharger network as it has been during the last years. Now they will focus on other things and keep the supercharger network as it is, 
what will that have for effect when charging during peak times? Write your thoughts in the comment section below of this video. I'm curious to know. For all of you that is following my channel knows that having a Tesla supercharger that is open for all EV brands makes some problem since not all cars is having their charging port on the same side of the car. On a Tesla version 2 and version 3 charger this is a problem since the charging cable is optimized for Teslas that all have their charging port on the left side of the car. In this case the non-Tesla car is blocking two stalls and other Tesla drivers have to be more creative in order to utilize the stall that is blocked. So is this the answer to cars that parks in the wrong position? The V4 supercharged stalls with longer cables. Yes, the V4 supercharger charging cable is significant longer, which helps to reach the charging port wherever it is located. On the other hand, the cable is more heavy, feels more clumsy, and it's more difficult to handle, especially if you're going to have your other hand holding a camera, trying to film in the same time when you're connecting the car. These buttons doesn't seem to work very good. The button on the charging handle should open the charging port, but it's not working. Why is it not working? So I pressed on the cover to open it. <laughs> 